Dad? Honestly, a lot of people have, um, because we do this podcast so late, they've already <laughs> corrected themselves I from know. the podcast that I've seen. Yeah. Like, I think it is crazy, though, that they had the audacity to sue. I'm just close my move ring. Your mood ring? Move. Oh. From just yelling, I guess. Oh. <laughs> oh, I did rather, rather think it was an exercise bike earlier, so I guess I don't know why. Okay. So it's just yelling, just doing this podcast, maybe burn burning calories. calories. <laughs> <laughs> Arguing makes just you Just yelling calories. at each other burns a lot of calories, I guess. <laughs> just good for you, healthy for you. Yeah, yelling. <laughs> Woo. Um, but it, he does, but whoever um, was suing him had, is crazy for even having the audacity to pursue him for that. Well, it was the estate of Ed Thompson, which is was a co-writer yeah. of the song. So it was basically his family. Oh, it was his family? Or most likely. It depends. Because it's the estate. So it depends on how their estate was set up. Yeah. If you know what I'm talking about, we're talking about Air Sharon being sued for, uh, was it Think of You? Or not Think of You. Um, I don't really even know the song. Uh, this song is amazing. I love it. Really? It's one I don't first... really listen. I don't listen to Ed Sharon except for like when I worked in retail. Yeah, when you're kind of just forced to. Yeah, I don't either. But that's one of the, that was the first song I heard from Ed Sharon. And that shit is a beautiful uh, Shout out to my ginger brother. <laughs> <laughs> he is ginger. Um, but that shit is beautiful. And it's crazy that that tried to sue for that. And I'm so glad they didn't win because that's ridiculous. Well, I guess we're already here. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, we don't have to go in depth about it. I'm sure people know about it already. You can, give, you, you can give your thoughts about it. Eh, it went how it should have gone. I just hate when people reference like that other Marvin Gaye trial. Well, the Marvin Gaye one with Robin Thicke, Pharrell. And- yeah. With that one, I hate when people bring that one up because that was decided by a jury, not a judge. Mm. So juries don't have to worry about precedence. Yeah. And they didn't... I don't know which court it was in, and I don't know if there were any circumstances why they couldn't file a motion to uh, appeal it with uh, having the judge redo it, give their opinion on it, because the judge can overturn it in certain circumstances, which happened with a... uh, There was like a Katy Perry one... Katy Perry lawsuit from years ago, Mm -hmm. which she lost on a jury trial, but then they filed a motion to um, overturn by the uh, for the judge to review it, and the judge ruled in their favor because she had lost it, and then she ended up winning. Mm. Yeah, that's crazy. So with that one, for whatever reason, they I guess thought it was well. I think their lawyers probably fucked something up. (laughs) Probably because that was that was crazy too. That was a crazy one. But it also could have been like, hey, you paying you have to pay five million, but if we go through this other process, pay more. may end up costing more. So you might as well just say fuck it. Yeah, that's true. So that could have also been what happened. Yeah. But yeah, I'm glad he won this. I'm glad Insurer won this case. Oh yeah, well, because here's the thing: is like just because the songs sound similar isn't enough to fucking yeah win on those lawsuits. Because here's what it comes down to: is um. Those songs just have similar elements because it's a similar type of song from a similar type of genre. Yeah. So those always are going to share lots of elements. And here's the thing is the chord progression, chord progression is not exactly the same. Yeah. It's a slight difference. The second chord of the chord progression is a suspended chord, which is different than the original chord that was used. Uh, I think it's even a... I can't remember if it's in the same key or not. The only thing that's similar is because it has a... Um, it in, it does what's include uh, it does what's considered in, anticipating the thir- uh, the third, so both songs are in halftime, which means instead of uh, the snares being on the two and the four, the snares on the three, so it basically ends up like cutting the tempo in half. Yeah. And it provides a different feel. A lot of like rap shit you hear nowadays is halftime because halftime gives you the ability to do like triplet notes, whereas when you're in like a standard one two three four. You don't, it's hard, like it gets a little bit weirder. So, most of the time, when you get them to a half note, that's when they're made a half time, that's when they're doing it. So, both songs in the half time, they're anticipating the three because that's just something you could do kind of like in pop R&B, like a pop soul ballad. It's what they're kind of considered. Um, I forgot where I was going. <laughs> oh, yeah. So, in doing that, typically when you're anticipating the three, you'll end up doing a similar kind of bass pattern and drum pattern. And if you're in a similar key, doing a similar chord progression, your bass line is going to sound very similar. Which in this case, the uh, the bass pattern, the bass uh, line, and the drum pattern are exactly the same. And there are certain elements of the melody that are similar, but the melodies are different. One because they're in a different. There's just, a little bit different chord progression going on. I can, yeah, I, I, it sounds similar, but at the same time, it's not the same. 
It's not, yeah. So, and it's also like the instruments being used are different, so it creates a different like tonality. Yeah. Um, you can you can blend it good, like it will sound good blended, and it will well, sound here's the like thing. the same. Any song that's in the same key or uses the same chord yeah. progression, you can blend it just fine. Yeah. It's you can even you blend know. songs that are in different keys if you know. What, so there's like a, you can look up this graph that will basically tell you like which keys can blend together naturally that are, again, a completely different key, but they'll blend. Mm -hmm. And there's like, if so if you blend any song in that, they'll work the same way, even though they're completely different chord progressions, different keys. So blending music is not like a good argument. Yeah. Yeah, I agree. So, yeah. But yeah, basically, yeah, that lawsuit was bullshit. Yeah. And it was a jury trial, and the jury actually ruled in favor. I mean, great, because... Which is surprising, because you can never really know what's going to happen with a jury trial. Yeah. And, and if they play like the blended version... <laughs> I can see how some of you were like, oh, because a lot of people did when they heard the blended version, how like, oh, this is the same. Oh, well, and I can see that because it does sound very similar. I, but when, you, when they were doing that, like, I'm hearing like a different, like, the me background kind of melody was different. Yeah. I mean, it's obviously different. Like, I agree because I, I heard the same thing, but there are, there were people that said it sounded very, very, very similar. Well, here's the precedent is um, there was a lawsuit back in the day regarding Led Zeppelin, uh, one of the songs, The Stairway to Heaven. There was a song where it literally the guitar part was exactly the same except for like a couple notes. Yeah. And like everything else sounded exactly the same except for that. And the judge ruled in favor for them because because it wasn't exactly the same. Yeah. Cause it's hard to deal with music when it comes to like copywriting all that shit because a lot of musical elements come from stuff that's public domain and you can't that's not protected. So like going back to that Katy Perry lawsuit I was talking about, um, the original song that was referencing was called a, uh, uh, the element they were using, fuck, what's it called? Uh, it's like an antonet, something like that. Where it's basically like a, um, it's basically a, what's called a motif. So basically just a repeating thing throughout a song. They were nearly the same. It was eighth notes. And then with those eighth notes, the first four were the exact same note. And then the last four were different. And they were both did kind of like a dropping thing. And um, at first she lost because the, the jury thought it was, oh, that's close enough, clearly. But then when the judge ruled, it's like, no, this motif is from fucking public domain, so it's not protected. Yeah. Yeah. Well, I'm glad he won. He said he was going to quit music if he lost, which I don't think he would have. I don't think he would have either. either. Um, but, you know, I never want to see an artist leave and be discouraged because of some bullshit like that. Yeah, and I think they were trying to argue it was the same tone. It's like, the fuck? The yeah. same vibe? You, you, you can't sue for a vibe. Yeah. Same feel. Like, what? Was like, I mean, didn't... Because they'll go back again, go, oh, that's the Marvin Gaye thing. Yeah. But that wasn't... It didn't get ruled by a, by a judge. Yeah. I mean, but... I mean, that still was an argument. Uh, like, the feel. So, I see why But it didn't create precedence because it wasn't ruled by yeah. a judge. Yeah. That's the it, difference. It didn't, it didn't create precedence, yeah. That was one of the things that annoyed me. People were like, oh, the Marvin Gaye thing. It's like, well, that was different. Because it didn't get ruled yeah. by a judge. So yeah. It doesn't create precedence. Yeah. It was but, ruled by a jury. Yeah. But at the same time, I mean, maybe they're saying that because it, it can happen. Because it has happened. Well, again, here's the thing is like, I, if they would have got hurt by a judge, that would, they wouldn't have won. Yeah, because you got it has a set of precedence, yeah. But, yeah. I'm, but maybe they're saying like... But you it, can't it happened, say it. Happened, but maybe they're saying it happened before, so it's possible that it can happen again. And especially this time, because this one sounded more similar and more of a feel than last time, but I, I I agree with you. What you're saying, I I see what you're saying. I agree. That's the first. I'm just I'm just giving That's the first on this podcast. I'm just giving devil's advocate. The I, only I, thing I, we ever agree on is how shit this podcast is. <laughs> but you know, everything else we disagree on. No, I agree on a lot of things you say. I'm I give sometimes <laughs> I don't, and sometimes I just give devil's advocate because I can see the other side. But I agree with you're saying. So. So yeah. Okay. It's cool that you didn't want to talk about it, but. Made a good little conversation out of it. Well, I didn't go in depth. I, you, you which is, which is probably good, but for the best. I feel like people I feel like people already know by now. Especially by the time this comes out. <laughs> oh, yeah. But, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. This is about, about like a month from now. Yeah. People don't forgot what happened. And that's assuming I actually get everything edited. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah. But, you know, good times.